Okay, what's up, gang? So today, I want to explain you about difference between N-type and P-type semiconductor material. But first thing first, N-type and P-type is actually a process to improve the conductivity of the semiconductor by adding impurity atom to the intrinsic SI and GE. Okay, uh, first thing is P-type. P-type is actually a acceptor and N-type is donate. So you can see N-type for donate, P-type is acceptor. It's easier to understand by doing this. So, actually, a p-type is a addition of trivalent impurities. Trivalent impurities, and n-type is pentavalent impurities. Yeah. So P type has uh, boron, aluminium, or uh, gallium as their trivalent impurities. And for N type, petravalent impurities is phosphorus. arsenic antimony and bismuth so uh, p type uh, is to uh, create deficiencies of relevant electron called holes N-type is purpose is to doing to make more charge carrier more charge carrier electron uh, wire available in the materials for conductor both are electrically natural So that's all the different uh, between N-type and P-type semiconductor materials. Thank you, gang, for listening. Happy studying. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Saya Muhammad Syurizam. Uh, saya akan terangkan pasal uh, donor impurities dan acceptance impurities. So Kita tahu uh, <coughs> uh, Yang purities ni Dia adalah satu pemberi Contoh macam satu atom Yang mana ada banyak elektron dia Lebih elektron dia akan memberi kepada yang memerlukan So Yang mana yang menerima tu Kira yang tu adalah acceptance Okay <coughs> Kat sini kita akan tengok Macam mana Demi proses Okay tengok nak Ini contoh Contoh satu material Yang mana dia ada lebih Balance dia Lebih Balance dia lebih banyak pada yang ni so kita panggil dia A lah Okay A ni Yang mana dia ada lebih satu elektron So Yang belah B pula Belah B ni dia ada Yang dua shell Maksud, uh, Yang shell yang kedua Valence shell yang kedua Dia tak cukup satu elektron So Yang daripada A ni Dia beri satu uh, Maksudnya dia donor satu Elektron kepada si B So kat sini kita nampak proses dia Yang ni adalah Donor So yang ni pula adalah Acceptance So konsep uh, donor dan acceptance yang impurities ni simple lah, senang je. Macam ni je. So, sebabkan dia beri, kedua-dua atom ni adalah octet. Maksudnya dia masih rasa sempurna. Maksudnya uh, melengkapi each other lah. Okay, bagi difference pula, difference shape. Maksudnya perbezaan antara dua ni lah, senang je kita nak tahu. Adalah konsep dia. Kalau untuk segi acceptance ni, acceptance selalunya dia punya atom lagi kecil pada donor. Contoh, tengok lah. Okay. 
Ni donor ha, Maksudnya dia punya Validation dia banyak Ni adalah acceptance Maksudnya Dia punya uh, Validation dia kecil Selalunya Tiga lah Tiga so, Kalau yang donor ni uh, Besar ha, Itu je lah berbeza dia Maksudnya Perbezaan dia Donor ni Validation dia besar Atau item dia besar Acceptance kecil ha, Itu je Sekian Terima kasih Okay, so untuk majority charge carries dengan minority charge carries okay. So, selepas saya dah uh, study, ini nota yang saya dah buat So, ini mula-mula kita kena tahu apa itu majority dan apa itu minority So, definition untuk majority yang saya dapat ialah Charge carries that are present in large quantity Second is carry most electric charge or electric current in semiconductor Yang ketiga ialah Responsible for electric current flow in semiconductor okay. Maksud dia, maksud majority ini adalah Charge carries yang Kuantiti dia paling banyak Dalam um, Dalam Type tu So kalau dalam type tu Apa yang paling banyak itu adalah dikira sebagai majority So majority ni pula dia punya function dia ialah Untuk membawa Dia carry paling banyak electric charge Ataupun electric current Dalam semiconductor tu Dan dia adalah yang main peranan untuk Current flow Flow current dalam semiconductor okay. Untuk minority Definition dia ialah Charge carries that are present in small quantity Dengan satu lagi Carry very small electric charge Or electric current in semiconductor Okay Maksud dia ialah Dalam Sesebuah type tu um, Yang paling sikit adalah minor, di, Dikira sebagai minority So Dan kedua ialah Dia hanya membawa Electric charge Dalam amount yang Sangat kecil Okay So kita pergi Kepada Semiconductor <coughs> Okay so Semiconductor apa itu semiconductor Semiconductor ialah Kalau dalam pure form dia Is called in, Intrinsic Intrinsic con Semiconductor Okay In intrinsic semiconductor The total negative charge carries 3 electrons In Is equal to total number of positive Charge carries Okay So There are Total negative charge carries Is equal to Total positive charge carries So Okay ya uh, Kita pergi kepada uh, N type dan Type. Okay, so uh, Semiconductor dia, dia pecah pada dua N-type dengan P-type Untuk N-type uh, N-type ni Is form when Pentavalent atoms such as Phosphorus or arsenic Are added to intris, Intrinsic Semiconductor So bila atom yang jenis pentavalent ni uh, contohnya fosforus ataupun arsenik a uh, di ditambah kepad ditambah di dalam intrinsic semiconductor ia akan it, dia akan form a uh, n type. Okey. So dalam n type ni dia ada banyak ni a uh, dekat sini kita boleh tengok yang putih-putih ni saya label sebagai free electron. Yang hitam ni adalah holes dia Ok So Dekat sini kita boleh nampak Free electron is the majority charge carries Maksud dia Dalam semua ni uh, Free electron dia adalah majority Sebab dia ada banyak berbanding holes So free electron carry most electric charge or electric current Holes are minority charge carries uh, Ada dua je So dia paling sikit And Dia hanya carry small amount of electric current or electric charge. Okey. 
So the total num the total number of negative charge carries free electron is greater than total number of positive charge carries. So kita boleh assume yang total total amount of negative charge carries is greater than total amount of positive charge carries jika dalam n type untuk p type pula p type ni is formed when trivalent atoms such as boron or gallium are added to the intrinsic semiconductor so bila uh, atom jenis trivalent ni contoh dia boron or gallium ditambah kepada intrinsic semiconductor ia akan form p type So dalam p type ni pula Kalau tengok ni uh, hitam dia ada banyak Itu adalah holes dia Yang putih yang kosong ni adalah free electron So Holes are the majority charge carries Holes carry most of the electric charge or electric current Free electron are minority charge carries Free electron carry only small amount of electric current The total number of negative charge carries free electron is less than total number of positive charge carries holes so maksud dia holes dekat dalam p type adalah holes dalam p type adalah majority kita boleh tengok kat sini so holes ni function dia is to carry most of the electric current dia bawa kebanyakan electric current kat dalam p type untuk uh, free electron pula dia ada adalah minority charge carries Dia minority dia sikit saja Dalam P type uh, Dan free electron Dia hanya carry small amount of electric current So Total negative charge Total negative charge untuk free electron Adalah lebih sikit daripada uh, Total positive charge Dalam holes So kat situ kita boleh uh, assume Total negative charge carries Is less than Total positive charge carries So itu saja Untuk uh, Majority and minority Sekian Terima kasih Okay, for the forward bias, the voltage source of bias connection are positive to the P material and negative to the N material. Okay, for this, the negative side of the bias voltage push the free electrons, which is here, to the N region. Okay, we know that for negative, the electron flow from negative to positive. So, in this PN, for, for this forward bias, the electron move to the PN junction to the positive side of the termin of the battery. So, this will result in depletion of the depletion regions narrows also provide a continuous flow of electron through the, the external connection into the p energy bias voltage imparts energy to the free electron to move to the p region electron in p region loses energy positive side of the bias voltage source attract the negative electron left in the P region ok for the backward bias ok we know that again the electron flow from negative to positive Okay, for this, the condition that prevents the current flow to the doy. The condition that prevents 
current through the diode is when the negative side of the terminal is connect to the negative to the p junction of the diode this result in the current flow is neglected in most cases the depletion area which is here is widened which can control the flow of electron for this case the flow of electron is zero or degradable as the depletion region widens the ability of the majority carries decreases After reading the question, we simple the circuit uh, into this. Okay, first off, we we write the most important equation, which is V is equal to I R. That we we summarize the all the formulas for the series circuit, which is. For resistance is total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. Total current is the same throughout the circuit. And last but not least, the voltage total or the battery voltage is equal to the summation of all voltage in the circuit okay the question require us to find out the voltmeter reading for the voltmeter reading first we must know the the total current that is going through the circuit we list down all the all the important factors. Okay, after reading the question, we summarize the circuit as below, as shown. Okay, we write the important formula first before we before we continue, which is V is equal to I R. Uh, the formula for resistance total current total and the voltage total for this circuit which is series next we use the formula V total is equal to V1 which is here and V2 is the diode Substitute the formula V total Substitute the V is equal to the IR V1 Okay next know that the the volt the current is the same throughout the circuit okay we just didn't note that here okay, next we convert this formula because we don't know how much the diode resistance is we're gonna find out it first so we convert V is equal to IR to find out the resistance of 
the diet okay, we substitute this formula in R2 then we can get remember that the current is the same throughout the circuit can denote this which leaves us with the formula Vt is equal to it r1 plus v2 ok next we know that the resistance for r1 is 10 kilo ohm and the voltage total or the voltage of the battery is 5 volt ok we substitute the form the value into the formula we are going to find the the current for the circuit So we can we get the, the voltage the current flowing throughout the circuit is 0 0.43 0 milliamp. Okay. Uh, the the question as us the question as us to to predict the reading of the voltmeter by using the formula V is equal to IR we can get the, the prediction for the voltmeter reading for the current flowing is 0 0.43 milliamp multiplied by the multiplied by the resistance of the circuit you can get the final answer is 4.3 volt this is our final answer